Australian MotoGP driver Jack Miller is said to be doing okay after he was involved in a scary crash during Sunday's Malaysian Grand Prix. The race was red flagged after the Queenslander made contact with Red Bull KTM Factory Racing's Brad Binder and Fabio Quartararo on the first corner. The 29-year-old was caught on the inside of Binder and fell to the ground and appeared to hit Yamaha rider Quartararo's rear wheel in the process with his head. He proceeded to slide across the track into turn two, with Repsol Honda driver Joan Mir, who was unable to avoid him, running over one of the Australian's legs. Emergency teams quickly arrived on the track and delivered medical care to Miller while the race was stopped. He was subsequently taken to the medical center via an ambulance. Fortunately, the KTM driver was later seen on Fox Motorsport walking back to the paddock and has not sustained any serious injuries. KTM confirmed in a statement, that was a big scare. We're happy to report that both Binder and Miller are okay and back in the box. Both, obviously, will not be participating in the Malaysian MotoGP race as we prioritize and focus on their recovery. They later emphasized the serious risks that riders put themselves through every race weekend. Today was a stark reminder of the risks our riders face every time they line up on the grid. Both Brad and Jack were involved in a serious incident on the first lap, but we're beyond grateful they're both okay and walking away from the crash relatively unharmed. Moments like these remind us of the strength and resilience in this sport. Now, the focus is on recovery and preparing for the season finale. We're grateful for each message and the outpour of support. Corderero also appeared to be largely unhurt following the incident and was able to restart the race. Miller, meanwhile, did not return following the resumption of the Grand Prix. After the incident, Mir had also spoken of his concerns about Miller's welfare. Honestly, I was very worried, he said. In the first start, I made a super good start. I recovered a lot of positions in the first corner. I was around the top 10, so if I could make the second corner, I could be in a very good position. But then I find the crash with Fabio and Miller, and I ran over Miller. Then when I saw the ambulance and all the stuff, I was very worried because I don't know how he was because I ran over his legs. I was worried for him. But then I went to his box and he said, I'm fine, I'm fine, I have a bruise here, on my leg. So I said, oh, perfect. But I was worried. KTM boss Francesco Guidotti has also stated that no one was at fault for the crash, with MotoGP stewards coming to the same conclusion following an investigation. Boss Francesco Guidotti has also stated that no one was at fault for the crash, with MotoGP stewards coming to the same conclusion following an investigation. Luckily, no one was injured, Guidotti said. Everything is fine. Jack went to the medical center for a check, but he's fine. No pain anywhere. Was very bad to see, but luckily no injuries. Brad tried to start for the second start, but the pain in the left shoulder didn't allow him to go. It wasn't safe for himself and the others. He will go maybe tomorrow to check the shoulder if the pain will be there still. From the image we have, it's not really clear. Looks like Brad was very, very inside and he touched someone in front. And then he had to pick up the bike and hit Fabio. Fabio hit Jack. Was like a domino effect. I think it's a race incident, nothing to be penalized. Miller, who debuted on MotoGP in 2015, has won four times on the Premier Circuit, making 23 podiums across 176 races. He currently sits 14th in the championship standings, having amassed 84 points so far this season. After the race was restarted, Ducati Lenovo rider Francesco Bagnaia would go on to claim first place with Jorge Martin and Inia Bastianini also reaching the podium.